first we'll start with the exterior, then we'll go to the interior, and then of course the engine bay. All right, let's go for a tour. All right, I get a lot of questions about what's been done to my car. I have a ton of videos explaining everything that's been done to my car. But instead of saving you the trouble to going through every single video, but I'm gonna provide those links anyway, I'm gonna do one video, hopefully I'll get everything in here, talking about what's been done to my 2016 Chevy SS, AKA the Holden Commodore SSV Redline, which was built in Australia. We'll get to that in a minute. First, we'll start with the exterior, then we'll go to the interior, and then of course, the engine bay. All right, first things first, you'll see here we have the Holden grill. This is not the way I bought the car. It had a Chevy bow tie, but I went ahead and bought the um, Holden badge. You can buy them on eBay. Um, and I got black ones. I kind of wanted that black on red look, so it looks pretty, pretty stealth in a way. Um, over here, normally you'll see an SS from the factory, uh, the Holden factory, but I bought the LS3 badge, which is affixed to the Holden Commodore versions in Australia. Um, so I wanted to give it more of that Australian look, kind of hearkening back to the heritage of Holden. And then we go over here. Actually, one more thing. I did blackout trim, both upper and lower grill. Um, you can get that um, GM Directs Parts or any GM reseller. Um, and you can also get it at a place like Holden Parts USA, I uh, think Commodore Specialties also sells them, and maybe Maverick Man Carbon. Um, I'll try and provide those links somewhere in the video description below. Then when you come over here to the wheels, I, these are not these are stock wheels, but from the factory they come uh, silver. Uh, but I went ahead and had them powder, powder coated um, quite, a, quite a while ago, when I, I think uh, maybe four years ago now. And then what you also notice here is if you get down here, you'll see wheel caps. Normally these would be the Chevy bow tie, but I bought, um, actually no, these were sent to me um, from Australia, from a friend. Um, but these are uh, the Holden center caps that typically come from the factory in Holden at Holden. Well, no more Holden anymore, unfortunately. 2017 was the last year, uh, model year of these cars. And then here, normally this is a silver trim, but I bought the black version. It's a gloss black. Um, normally this is a red mirror cap, but I wrapped it in 3M vinyl. Kind of uh, kind of copy what, they're do what they did with the Australian models. Um, Normally this is a silver chrome, uh, sorry, normally this is a chrome uh, uh, door handle, but I vinyl wrapped it in red and it's been holding up for quite a while. I probably need to fix some of it, it's starting to tear up. Um, you have the option of getting these painted if you wanted to. Uh, so just keep that in mind. You just have to buy or you can buy door handles and get them painted. But I just went ahead with just vinyl wrapping the front and you want that chrome look anymore. Then I bought the black window trim. Normally this is chrome from the from the factory. I got the trim from Commodore Specialties, so hit them up. I did that for both sides, passenger and driver side. Um, down here in Australia, the Holden Commodore's SSV Redlines come with the SS badge. I wanted that same look, to kind of be somewhat consistent, so I went ahead and bought those uh, through eBay and. When you come back here, you'll also see more badging. This is the VF Series 2. This is a VF Series 2 Commodore. Um, that is uh, a 20, I want to say for these uh, 2016 and 2017. Uh, series 1, VF Series 1 was 2014 and 2015. So I wanted to make sure I had that badge on the back here as well. Then of course I have a black Holden badge to match the front. This is slightly smaller. And again, I think I got this through a reseller in Australia as well. <laughs> and then of course, another SS badge, just like they have on the Australian models. And then I think that's it as far as, ex oh, one more exterior mod are the lights. The tail lights are not factory. These are from Spider Auto. These are 
um, uh, LED tail lights. And I bought these through Maverick Man Carbon. Hope I'm saying the name right. And sticker from Redline Service and Performance. Uh, they did my suspension. Um, I can't really lift the car, so basic suspension it has. BMR tow rods and trailing arms in the rear. White line strut mount bushings with new bearings for the front. BMR sway bar end links for the front and King Springs SL. Still running on mag magneto ra radiological shocks. <laughs> Magnetic ride control basically. And uh, the whole thing carries over here, the powder coated rims, the uh, Holden wheel caps, center caps, and the SS badge there. Still running Brembo brake calipers. Now I'm running Z26 Street Warrior uh, brake kit. That is the exterior of the car. Let's take a look at the inside of the car next. We have here is a mask. Did not come with the car. <laughs> Everything here that you see is fairly stock with the exception of a few small things. The Holden airbag. Normally it's a Chevy airbag, but it is a Holden airbag. Um, I have a video on how to install that as well. And then what you will see in the center, what you'll see here is black trim here and here. Normally from the factory, that's chrome but I wanted to kind of give it a more subdued look. Um, I know that some complain about the, re the reflection of the sun at certain times of the day, and that is true. So that kind of helps there as well. But I kind of wanted to go for um, some of that black outlook. Now you can also buy a black trim for the steering wheel if you wanted to, but I did not do that. That's it for the interior. Back seat, nothing. <laughs> Nothing done to the back. One last thing for the uh, interior are the floor mats. Uh, these are 3D Spider. I can't remember the exact name, but I have an install video of this as well. I've had these for quite a while and they've been holding up really well. So it's an alternative to WeatherTech if you don't want to use WeatherTech. But these have been great. I have the fronts and the back as well. If you have any doubt, this is a Holden. Take a look here. See this sticker? Manufactured by GM Holden. And it even has the GM Holden logo. That is a Holden. No matter what, depending on who you ask, it is a Holden. <laughs> They're the ones who built it. It's essentially the same car, except left-hand drive versus right-hand drive. Some say it's not a Holden if it's not a right-hand drive. Fair enough, but it came off the exact assembly line even though it's marketed as a Chevrolet SS in the United States. Let's take a look at the engine. One of the first things I did is the cold air intake. I got a Rotofab. It's been on here for a very long time. Um, I also bought um, some aluminum strut caps just for kind of clean up that look. Those were from Maverick uh, Maverick Man Carbon as well. Elite Engineering Catch Can. This is the, uh, I believe, the Series 1 or Version 1. There's a Version 2 that's a little bit different. I do have an install video on that as well. Um, I took off the engine cover. I just didn't like the engine cover, so it's in my basement, stored away. <laughs> and then, uh, so I basically run it like this. Um, I moved the heater hoses off the uh, top of the engine, and I have zip ties basically holding it, securing it, um, to where the cabin filter is enclosed inside of the cabin filter. So I basically have the uh, zip ties holding my two engine heater hoses here. My heater hose is there. Um, I have the, a custom uh, build plaque. Um, Chris Fretch was the one who did this. He did it for a lot of SS owners, a lot of Holden owners. Um, I'm not sure if he's still doing them, but uh, it, it's a nice little touch to kind of a uh, show during car shows. I'm not sure if you can see it from here, but if you look way down there, long tube headers. Wow. Yes, those are American Racing headers, one and seven eighth inch. Uh, to uh, they're high flow with high flow cats, X pipe to the stock bimodal mufflers. Besides the headers, the intake, uh, I also have a cam. Uh, 
Um, it's a liver noise. You can't see it, of course. It's inside <laughs> the engine. Uh, Livernoy 2C cam and I'll put some specs in the video description if you'd like and a link to the video of the uh, of the experience after getting it for the first time and it's tuned by Tim Haynes who's, did, who's uh, comes highly recommended did a fantastic job it's pushing about 438 to the wheels right now and about 402 torque and so it drives great street tune and dyno tune and that's it I hope that answered some of your questions if I missed anything I will get back to you on that, but that's pretty much everything that's been done to the, to the car. Intake, headers, cam, uh, tune, and it's been fantastic. All right, I hope you like this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and leave a comment below. Let me know what you've done to your SS. If you have any questions about the mods, ask me there as well. Take care.